Why wouldn't you want sexy jazz playing while we stream? The sexiest of jazz. Mm-hmm. You know, like do 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 do. You know, like this kind of sexy jazz. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's? What? You got a problem with my fucking intros to my own damn stream? I mean, no, I never said I did. <laughs> Jeez. You're, you're, you're questioning my creative genius. Oh, I mean, only occasionally. Mm, mm. <laughs> okay, all right. I see Sarlat is double check, make sure the co-host is correct. Yes, it is. All right, are you yeah. ready to go live? Yeah, mm. I'm here. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to bring us live if you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Cool. We've been live the whole time. Hi, everybody. I, Welcome. I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome. It's fucking Tuesday, which means I'm going to draw some art for you guys. So don't fucking don't fucking worry about it. I, um, I'm going to worry about it mildly. We're going like, to. God damn. I'm going to. I'm going to have to be deeply concerned now. Oh, I can't believe you lied to me to my internet face. I did. I did lie to you to, to your voice. I I lied directly to your voice over Discord because that's how we do that. That's so rude. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, put your heart requests in now, and uh, I will get to them in the minute. Um, first, I want to do a couple of housekeeping things real quick. I'm gonna go real quick. Um, okay. And then we're gonna get into things. Okay. So first of all, real quick as fuck, uh, I want to do some serious shit. Um, there's a lot of things going around on the internet right now about people who don't pay voice actors and people who abuse their, um, workers and everybody and a whole bunch of shit that is really awful in the, in the industry of content creation right now. Um, and I just want to, um, put my word out. I will put an official, like, own statement out, but I, I do want to say, there's no abuse of my employees because I'm the only fucking employee I got. Um, and all of my voice actors are um, paid. Um, there's never been a voice actor in the past since 2017 who hasn't been um, decently compensated for their work. Um, if you guys must know, if you want to break down the math, I pay 25 cents per spoken word um, to voice actors, which rounds out to above industry st standard so um that's that's my official statement on it is i do pay my voice actors and i pay at least around industry standard even though they don't get like hours in the booth um the math works out um and that nobody in my um um working force is being abused because it's just it's just fucking me it's the that's it anyway um <laughs> Other than that, yeah. other than that, we got to jump into our next big thing. Do, 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 do. Sponsored. Hey. Hello, everybody. Um, talking about corporate shills. Um, wait, wait, uh, we got to sure? we got to say happy birthday to Blood Rain, a twenty year old, a twenty year old video game, courtesy of my new yeah. friends at Dare Drops. Um, I'm drawing the main character of Blood Rain right now, um, as Sailor Moon, um, because um, I'm trying to win you guys free video game stuff. Um, so Dare Do Drops is being generous and has challenge, and uh, I've taken a couple of dares from them, and um. And through that, um, I'm going to hopefully be winning some cool video game stuff I can give away to you guys. So thank you to Dare Drops. Um, check out the link um, to check out Blood Rain, a really old vampire game. Do you 20 like 20 year old vampire game? Do you like do you like sexy vampires? Shut up, nerd. Of course you do. Check out Blood Rain <laughs> as I draw yeah. her as Sailor Moon. <laughs> But other, yeah, than and, that, uh, but other than that, but other than that, other than sponsorships out of the way, how are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, how are y'all doing? Also, yeah, like essentially, in case anyone's wondering, the way that Dare Drops actually works is that essentially you can pick a game uh, to essentially do dares uh, in, and if you succeed at them, you can w uh, get things to redeem to uh, give to your give to crew. Yeah. So basically, yeah, yeah. that's what Dare Drops is. Is if I do Dare Drops. Um, and I do dares. I win free video game codes to give to you guys. 
So if you see me, don't block a Levania of me for corporate shilling. Um, so if I sell out a little bit, <laughs> I'm selling out for the good of crew by being able to get video game codes and shit for you guys. So there you go. Yeah, Enjoy. to give you guys, to give you things. <laughs> to get you guys things. Because I want to, yeah. of course, give you guys cool things. And this way, it doesn't cost me anything. And uh, I can still give you guys cool shit. All right. Anyway, cool. All right. Yeah. Um, also, uh, as a note, Lion Tamer put in a spare timer because they're rude. Oh, f- Fuck off already. God, we just started. All right. Yep, like right off the bat. Okay. Also, cool. uh, now to catch up on chat. Hello, yes. everybody. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Catching up. That's a chat. As I like saying, meow to you two. Also, careless whispers of bots. Protists are asking for more vignetting machine smut. <laughs> vignetting machine smut. You will get vignetting. that next week. I'm not doing it again this week. I did it once. Leave yeah. me alone, you monsters. Oh, then they and then they caught their spell. They spell check themselves. Gear saying, "I moved into my own apartment. Congrats!" Oh, that's rad. Good job, yo. Yay, yeah, new apartment. Don't break shit. <laughs> Porter start asking about your pricing. Does that include lines that get dropped? I. You mean like you mean uh, lines that I wind up not using? Yeah, I believe that's what he means. Um. Yeah. Basically, what happens is I write a script, I send it to my VAs, and I say, I say, this is the scope of work. Um, Those are some huge bangles. Oh, I mean, some serious some bangles. bangles. A real set of bingle bangles. I can some tobon um, dobon bingle on So it's, I, I have a script, I send them the script, I say, hey, this script is like 40 words, it's this much USD. And if they agree to that, I say, cool, I send them the script, they send me back the things, and if I don't use that line, then that's on me. Like, I send them the full fucking thing, so. Yeah. Um, from what I from what I understand, I pay decently um, from my VAs, is what they've told me, they're always... And um, I don't want to advertise it too much, uh, but a thing I also do do is I tip my voice actors. If my voice actors do good work, I uh, I send them... I send them a little extra, so. A little, a little tipty too. Not that I like to um, fucking announce that, but I have some VAs that go above and beyond, so. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's that. Anyway, put your fucking art request in. Why do I only have four, you chumps? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, he looks like I'm saying the press was a bait. Greatness. Nocturnal Blessing. I remember Blood Rain. They were good games. Red's asking, do you watch Sailor Moon? <clears throat> um, As a child, yes. As a child. Of course. Of course I watched... I didn't watch Sailor Moon Crystal, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, we didn't... Neither of us watched Crystal. We had a friend who watched them, and, like, man... Uh... The first couple seasons suck. Yeah. Um... What about Candy Corn Wazzy and the vending machine? God damn it. <laughs> or vending machine PNG when Wazzy? Listen... Listen, I hate it. I hate it. I hate I hate that this is a thing now. I hate that I hate that when I die, everybody's gonna stand around and like I bet you anything. Fucking I'm gonna die and somebody's gonna have to comment on my death. And you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be renowned vending machine um Isekai enthusiast Wazi has passed away. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> I I hate that that's what's going to happen to me. Yeah, it's going to be, it's definitely going to be rough. Uh, Roy saying, R.I.P. Wazzy, hope she gets reincarnated as a vending machine. Yeah. That better be a new tombstone. <laughs> yeah, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to die and hopefully a new, I'm not popular enough for a news media to report on my death. But if they did, it would be renowned vending machine anime enthusiast. Um, Wazzy Beach is dead, and that would be it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bonk me. How to get bonked? Let me get hell bonked. Make sure to get put in my contribution to your next vending machine live read challenge. <sighs> like I said, I hate that this is what I'm going to be known as. I hate, like, come on, come on. I we had a choice, crew. We had a choice. We could have made life okay for me. Oh, did you? I'm you sorry. Did you guys think I wasn't drawing a butt today? Haha, <laughs> jokes on you, chumps. <laughs> yeah, of course there's a of course there's a booty. I would prefer uh, to be known as renowned butt artist. Yeah. Uh, 
Gray is saying when I die, when you die, they'll give you the forty, the uh, forty-two vending machine salute. <laughs> they'll just put put forty-two dollars into a vending machine and just keep pressing the Pringles button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Claus Bernie saying, "Yo, Wazzy, hello. Can you get some more info on the mailing candy thing?" Um, yes, I can give you more info on the mailing candy thing. You give me your address, I put some candy in an envelope, and I mail it to you. Yeah. That's it. That's that's it. It's going to be Canadian candy. It's going to be it's going to be mostly Canadian candy. And it's literally mm, just Canadian. I have I have little Halloween candy. I'm going to put it in an envelope and I'm going to mail it to you. Now, if you picked it digitally, uh you're going to get an email with digital candy. What that entails? Yeah. If you're wondering what that details, um shut yes. up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fair. What's, what's with the worm color and costume thing? Uh, that's uh, that's just random questions I added because yeah, I was like, I wanted questions. I wanted to make sure you guys were paying a, attention, um, and not just like quickly filling it out. Um, it's basically my kind of own personal bot prevention, so it's not just a whole bunch of duplicate ent ent uh, entries. Because if it's just if you don't answer them, or you just answer the first one, mm, then I'll know. Then I'll know. Yeah, we'll know. Let's see, uh, t-shirt can and with Pringle cans, uh, hooray Canadian candy, over 25% of the way to the next vending machine goal. How's it ship? Standard mail or UPS FedEx? It'll probably be standard mail. It'll probably be standard mail. I don't know. I'm poor. I'm, I'm just a little guy. I make no, fucking, I make no money doing this. I spent yeah. all my money on the voice actors for the video coming out on Tuesday, so or Thursday. So please watch a video on Thursday. But like, fucking, it's going in the regular mail. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, and also, Wazzy, I hate to do this, but you've dropped the f bomb like five times during the spare timer. Why are you being a narc? I I was gonna narc on the third time you broke the you, spare timer. You broke it five times. You are such a narc. You are such a narc. Maybe if you didn't is swear so much, I wouldn't have to knock your, on you. Is that your Halloween costume? Well, knock, knock. It's the narc costume. Well, FBI, open up. It's Matt, the narc. It had to be fucking done. It had to be done. Narc. All right. <laughs> you know what? Don't swear as much. How about you stop narking? <laughs> be, a, be a polite little candy corn over there. No, I refuse. <laughs> what do you mean you refuse, you refuse. to be a... refuse. <laughs> Yeah, the draft saying he's not a narc, Matt's just honorable. Gray saying he literally gave you four chances. <laughs> Gray, whose side are you on? <laughs> no, I, I gave I gave Wazzy three chances, and she took four anyway. <laughs> this is so rude to me. I can't believe you guys are doing this to me. I'm just a little guy. Yeah, draft saying this is why I believe what he says. Matt is honorable. I believe him. Uh, Rhett asking, Hey, Waz, if you were a superhero, what would your secret layer be? Um, my mom's house. Ah. <laughs> it's, nobody's going to look for me in my mom's house. I'm not that much of a loser. <laughs> I mean, it's the perfect, it's the perfect escape. What are you talking about? It's the perfect escape. Everybody's going to be like, <laughs> where's your f secret layer, was man? And I'll be like, I'll never tell you. And then you'll find out it's at my mom's house. And you're like, damn, that's smart. Oh, no, there's a whisper in my ear. Tilda sent via throne.me. Oh, no. You're bought Prongles by Roy Johnson. Roy, please. I don't want to die and put my corpse nope. in a Pringles can. <laughs> He Pringle, bought you Pringles. Pringle. Oh, God. Tilda sent via Specifically, it looks like it and, might have been ke ketchup Pringles. And also Takis. Great. Thanks. Thanks. Oh. Now I can fill out my vending machine dreams. Thanks, Roy. You. I'm on swear timer. How dare you? <laughs> this is a crime against mostly me. I'm so innocent. Are you? I'm so innocent and good all the time. Bingle, bingle. This is the this is the thanks I get. This is the thanks I get. You guys are gonna make me die as the person who read the entirety of the vending. You're gonna make me read the entirety of Reborn as a vending machine, and that's gonna be what I'm known as as I die. 
<laughs> uh, probably yeah. Also, Roy saying this cost me twelve dollars. Damn you, shipping costs. Damn. And what happened with the twelve foot skeleton? I want the twelve foot skeleton. I want it so bad. Yeah, honestly, I would love to have <gasps> it. It's just that our neighbor, our neighborhood has a tendency to vandalize things in front yards. Spare keys says I virtually extend both of y'all a piece of my bacon pizza sub sandwich. Thank Can you. you swear for me? Can you say F yeah Fuck for yeah. me? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I want to say that. Oh, also, uh, Fine Apple wants you to hydrate. Fine Apple, please. I'm just a little guy. Well, actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, hydrate is fine. What the fuck you are you complaining what? about? You know what? Fine, I will do that. <laughs> Hydrate's only bad if uh, you're being forced to drink something you don't want to drink. That's true. Thank you, Fine Apple. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I have put the liquid in my potty. I tried somebody for Fatal Frame. I don't know who she is, but she's got she the uh, clap the clap of her ass cheeks keeps alerting the ghosts. <laughs> uh, Sai Kurosawa, I think that's the main character. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh shit! I'm drawing Ray. Oh no! Oh no! You're drawing the wrong one. I'm drawing the wrong one. I'm drawing on the, the wrong plus side, one. On the plus side, you can still pivot extremely easily from here. Mm, I can do uh, not e not easily, but I could try. Yeah. Oh no. The uh, also, Red Johnson said, "Do you like Takis Wazi?" And Pelagus said, "Takis has the red dye forty, so no. Only in the states. Our Takis does not have that." I've never had. I've never had it actually. If I'm being <clears throat> honest with you, I've never had it. Uh, it's pretty good. It's it's rather spicy. Mm. Oh, that sounds like a bad time then. Yeah. Uh, Token God's asking for your opinion on candy corn. If it's not already clear, Wazi loves candy corn, I and she's wrong for doing so. Love candy corn. It's candy so gross good. as hell. It's so, so gross. Good token. So you gross. Have no idea. It's, it's the so grossest. Delicious. It's hella gross. Bleh. It's so delicious. It's it's Bleh. so delicious. Another good candy. So delicious. <laughs> Man, I don't think they make so delicious anymore. I don't know if they do or not. I just, I just remember so delicious being like from the nineties. Google that for me, actually. Yeah, I, you know, what? I, I'm here. Yeah, you're here. You're not doing anything. I'm the one arting. I'm doing all I'm the doing... hard work. I'm like the guy in the polka rap that's got to do the rap part, and you just show up and do the singing, and then you're like, "Break time's over. Here we go." And then I gotta go into the whole Zapdos, Articuno, Nidorito, Beedrill, Haunter, Squirtle, Chansey, and you're just like the guy in the background, sometimes yelling Pokemon, and like that's that's this relationship, really. Yeah. Uh, to answer your question. Mm-hmm. Uh, so delicious. Uh, f uh, fell flat in nineteen ninety five. They stopped making it in nineteen ninety eight. Oh my life! Oh, why it, did they fall flat? They were so. It has delicious. been twenty four years. It was just literally sugar. Why would it fall flat? <clears throat> I can understand orbits, but not this. Yeah. Uh, candy corn gang. Uh, I feel like it's, you know, this has been the worst opinion yet. What liking candy corn? Can no candy corn's fucking vile. I stand by it. Candy corn is great. Like, like no, so delicious. Really. I miss you. If anybody doesn't know, so delicious was delirious. Was delicious. How did delirious? It get, how did it get? How did it get canceled? It was so good. It it just they, they stopped making it. It seems like a crime Gray. specifically against me. Yeah. Gray is asking, do you like candy corn only because no one would give you any good candy? Um, excuse you. No, it's just I have real human taste buds, and I'm really sorry that genetics has failed you guys. I don't get it. Genetics fails you guys so hard. Yeah. Like, you guys are always uh, like, oh, that tastes gross, but you're so wrong all the time. Yeah. Uh, also, Draft saying, was he out here calling us out for having plastic cheese? Meanwhile, she's out here eating colored wax. Um, it's good and good for you. Yeah. Uh, oh. Roy's saying, I hope you enjoyed the ketchup flavor of Pringles I sent you. Mmm, I'm gonna. Yeah. I don't get them instantly. I, I, I don't know if you guys understand this or not, but I don't. It it's takes not, a while. It take, listen, it's only as fast as Amazon can ship. It's not like some dude's breaking into my house right this second to fucking pour, pour um, Pringles directly into my open body. Yeah, just shove them directly into your face hole. 
It doesn't work like that. <laughs> yeah, just... What makes you think it would work that way, everyone? Throne doesn't have prime. Uh, it does, actually. It does? Well, yeah. fuck. Well, then why isn't it faster? What the fuck? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Why are you getting on my dick about it? I'm not the throne, guys. Fuck throne. I'm not the... I'm not miss your throne. Get it together, throne. I don't know what you want from me. Yes. But yeah, anyway, to follow up on my earlier statement, yeah, um, when it comes to, like how much I pay my voice actors in it and everything like that. Um, I'm pretty much an open book when it comes to that ex aspect of my career. If you yeah. ask me how much I make on everything, <clears throat> I will like fully open up my books. There's, I have nothing to hide. I have nothing yeah. to hide you guys. I really don't. Our animators, I am the only animator. Our animators get paid um, whatever we get paid because I am the animator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's just Wazzy. It's just Wazzy. It's... I don't have any animators to abuse. I wish I freaking did, but I don't. Yeah, because Wazzy does the brainstorming, the writing, the script editing, uh, most of the voiceovers. And the voiceovers she doesn't do, she hires someone else for. But she does all of the cut together for the audio. She does all the animation, all the pro pro uh, final production, marketing, everything. And also all of the <clears throat> voice actors are paid. With, and all the voice with the exception yeah. of Matt, because he lives here. Um, and the exception of Froggy, but that's just because me and Froggy kind of have like an open deal where it's like I voice for Froggy, Froggy voices for me, and it's just, it comes out in the wash. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Okay, yeah, there. I fixed it. I fixed it. Now let's see what other requests we got. <laughs> Yeah, we got a, you got a few. I'm you have trying quite a few. to haunt this castle, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the girl with the camera. <laughs> I know what Fatal Frame's about. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, Grace saying, so do you use the animators? Do you have a mirror on your work seat to yell at you to work faster? <laughs> I should. <laughs> a vampire that is also the, a pizza. You know what? Red saying we have a very cool background. Yeah, was it did it herself? It's it's just blank right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the vampire that is also a pizza because it is Halloween. Oh. Also, your swear timer's up. Yay! Ace that. You you didn't. I just decided not to narc on you. Um, mm, I don't think so. You narked on me one you time. You deserved it. You swore like five times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Also, uh, Pillowcase asking Chad and Wazzy, not asking me. Fuck, I guess I'm just here. Um, <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, Chad and Wazzy, what is the most vile candy? Uh, see, me, it's normal, uh, normal, plain Hershey chocolate. Oh. The worst kind of chocolate is anything dark chocolate. Well, they're, they're asking Actually, worst candy overall. Oh, worst candy overall. Yeah. The, what is the most vile candy? I'm agreeing with Kakashi over black licorice. Black licorice? Like, there's nothing that saves black licorice. I can tolerate black licorice. You know what I can't tolerate? I can't tolerate when you go to a restaurant and they give you a little square and you're like, oh my god, it's a little piece of chocolate. You get all excited and you unwrap this little square that you think is a piece of chocolate. It turns out it's mint chocolate and it's fucking gross. I hate it. That That's hilarious. Uh, that I, I like mint chocolate, personally. But uh, Let's see. Roy saying, I like red licorice. Claus is saying, uh, toffee. Draft Science saying, candy corn and black licorice. Spare Key says, warheads. Roy also saying, uh, Tootsie Rolls are the worst chocolate. Agreed. Tootsie Rolls um, are also ew, disgusting. Ew, what the fuck is wrong with you? Tootsie Rolls are great. God, why do you guys have no fucking taste buds? This is Tootsie embarrassing. Tootsie Rolls suck an entire ass. This is embarrassing for you guys. They suck so much ass. You guys are so embarrassing. I can't believe your mothers let you out of the house like this. This is fucking embarrassing. No, Tootsie Rolls are vile. I hope you guys all sit down and look at your life and look at your choices. You're <laughs> so fucking wrong all the time. Aztec apparently is a fan of a fan of trolley gummy worms. Hmm. I've never actually had them, but I don't actually like candy that's got extra sugar on it. Like, you know when a candy's got, like, that hard sugary excess sugar on top? I mean, yeah. not a fan of that unless it's on those watermelon candies because that is dope. Yeah, sour watermelon candies are delish. Yeah. Nothing wrong with sour watermelon candies. 
And if yeah. anybody says there is, ban them immediately. Sour yeah. Lad, I need you to ban anybody who says anything bad about sour watermelon candies. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> uh, Miles also saying only one animator. What stops you from abusing yourself? And worst candy is uh, Black Twizzlers. Mm. Yeah. He you likes know. saying sour watermelon candies are mid. Wow. That's a funny way to get banned. God <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn it, Wesley. What? It's not my fault. You guys want to get banned? That's your own fault. Don't come crying to me when you get banned for having bad taste in things. For having opinions. How dare you have opinions? How dare crew? you have incorrect opinions? I mean, look at you. Look at you guys. Listen, listen. However old you are, you have made it this far in life. You should you should know a thing or two by now. <laughs> and those things you should know is that sour watermelon candies are delicious. Yeah. Let's just say do you do you, uh, do you how, how do you feel about sour in general? I'm not the biggest fan of sour in general, but I will like sour the mod. He's great, um, but sour things in general, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of actually. I mean, that that's fair, I suppose. Because I I don't know. I'm a big fan of sour. I like sour stuff. Hmm. Oh, wow. Is chat not talking? Uh, no, chat. Uh, sorry, I'm just catching up to them right now. I actually <laughs> like the watermelon ones that Trolley has. Trolley, not going to lie, Trolley has a lot of different gummies. They know how to make a good, good gummy candy. Yeah, Trolley's really good. Uh, I never tried watermelon candies. I, I like sour Skittles. Sour uh, Skittles are okay, but like... Yeah. Eh. Eh. I prefer regular Skittles. If if somebody was like, would you like these regular Skittles or like a a, a sour Skittle? I'm going to take the regular Skittle every fucking time. That's fair. That, that's actually entirely legit. Mm. Especially because like, re honestly, regular Skittles are just objectively the best kind of Skittles. And really saying I like prefer regular Skittles, I like regular Starburst too. Now the pink... Pink and red ones are the best ones. Oh, yeah. I love Starburst as well. Starburst is another good one. God. Halloween is so good. Just think about it. Who doesn't like Halloween? You just get to walk to somebody's house and they'll just give you delicious candy for free. For free, yeah. man. You don't even have to pay anybody for it. They're just you like, hey, just you, want, free shit. You, want some, you want some candy? You go, yeah. And they just fucking give it to you. Yeah, they just put it into a little into your pillowcase that you're carrying. Yeah, around. you just carry around a fucking pillow. I always took a pillowcase. As much as I love little buckets of Halloween candy, like the little like like that looks like a classic pumpkin, um, I always took a fucking pillowcase. You have well, because that's a that's the correct way to trick or treat. Yeah, it's legal. Like, uh, pill pillowcase is said just said did you just say pillowcase yeah I did just say pillowcase I said I'm taking a pillowcase fucking Halloween candy getting yeah who's uh, that bingle mon oh god it's bangle I'm getting bingle, bingle. Draft, draft just said was he an offer an ultimatum you track your opinion on candy to accept a swear timer bitch fight me I know, I I know it loses its effect when I go silence, but I like to like I I like to just dead ass stare at the screen, knowing you guys can't see me, and then slowly lean towards the microphone when I say that stuff. It's just like fucking. I'm dare. calling your bluff. I'm calling everybody's bluff. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Rick. You can't see over how... me. I'm just a little guy. I wonder how skills turn the sour ones into gummies like they do the regular gummy skills. By the way, Draft's one just put in a swear timer. Oh, Draft, what the f You called the bluff. Fuck. I'm just, did you not hear the I'm a little guy part? <laughs> did you Did you miss out on that? I can repeat it for you if you want. I'm yeah. just a little guy. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Also, Kakashi said you could just save your points and make her read the vending machine book. 
No, you know what? A swear timer's fine. Yeah, I can beat a swear timer. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I got this. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I got this. I got this. I got this. You got... Do you, though? I'm really not looking forward to it. I really don't... I really don't want to be the guy that has to read the entire vending machine. Uh, like erotica. Erotic, soft core porn. <laughs> You don't want to be known as that guy. All right, there is a vampire pizza. He's got hey, a, vampire he's pizza. He's got a butt for an eye. Uh, <laughs> Jeff said, "I wouldn't have what you called the bluff, uh, sour gummy colas." Oh, that's actually mm-hmm. I do those are good too. Uh, Spare Key said, "Thank you for uh, drawing their art request." Oh, you're welcome. Sora entering the Jenga world. Yeah, that's what I want to draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're getting in that. <laughs> No. So I was saying, what, uh, what parents say don't take candy for strangers, but let five-year-olds walk up to random people's houses because of random tradition. I mean, yeah, but the, the strangers have candy. So, like, why wouldn't you walk to the stranger's house? Listen, I yeah, they, I'll, they're do a, give you free I'll, stuff. I'll do a lot of things for, for free stuff. Listen, if somebody's like, I'll give you a free thing, but you got to do this one little thing. F- fuck yeah. Also, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just swore. Ding! Why you got an arc? Why you couldn't have just let that one slide? What happened to you giving me three? I I let your last one slide. Ah, uh, that's so rude of you. Well, don't swear. I'm doing such a good gerb. <laughs> You're doing okay, gerb. You're doing pretty good, gerb. Uh, Kakashi's asking Matt. Matt, what is your opinion of any machine book? Uh, like. The main girl character has a cute design, but outside of that, fuck, it's fucking weird. Like, unnecessarily weird. And it's, to me, it's proof that anything can get bu- can get published if you, if you uh, throw it at someone hard enough. Exactly, everybody. Follow your dreams, because if this guy could get his vending machine smut published, you could do whatever your dreams are. Do you dream to punch Elon Musk in the ball sack? Guess what? Dreams could come true. Do you dream of getting your own Jenga anime put onto Netflix and and becoming a world-renowned hit? Well, guess what? You could do it. Do you yeah. dream of bringing back... Uh, um, a long dead show, but better. Guess what? You could do that. Do you dream of um, uh, conquering the world? Guess what? You can do that. Yeah, you just gotta believe. You just gotta believe in yourself and your dreams, and believe in the vending machine. Sometimes yeah. you just gotta sit on some Pringles and dream. Yeah, as Miles is saying, I'll take some free stuff for not putting on a swear timer. Listen, that's why I was drawing the Blood Rain stuff. I'm trying to get you guys free things. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Bananis here, because I see Bananis art request. Oh, hi, Banani. What's up? Yeah. Uh, Jeff said you can't walk up to a stranger's way van for free stuff. Or why can't you? Uh, their free stuff isn't good for you. It's not good. It's not as good as free stuff. Uh, Miles says my one and only dream is vending machine smut. Listen, uh, listen, can you? Listen, sometimes you need better dreams. Sometimes, listen, so you can yeah, yeah, get you better can, dreams. <laughs> can you just do me a solid and get better dreams? Uh, yeah. uh, Roy Johnson saying, I remember when they would trick, when we would trick or treat at the Dunkin' Donuts, they'd give us donut, hole, donut holes instead. Fun fact, uh, Tim Hortons has a promotion right now where you can get a, a trick or treat bucket of 31 Timbits. That's many Timbits. I could do it. Well, I know you can, but I'm just a little guy. <laughs> well, if you and I share, maybe like Saturday morning, we'll get ourselves some Timbits for part, part of a not so healthy breakfast. Mm, yeah, OK. You do like trick or treat buckets. I do love trick or treat. buckets. We, we, we literally just went over how much you like trick or treat buckets. <laughs> Uh, grazing. I'm just curious if vending machines a 34 page. If oh, you're asking God. if there's any actual porn in it, there's no actual like. There's not, but there's probably a a rule 34. God, why am I googling this? Rule 34, vending. Are you at least machine. doing it with incognito? No, 
of course not. I'm not a baby. Um, unfortunately, there is a vending machine page, but I don't see any from the actual vending machine anime. Um, it's just people putting their dicks in vending machines. What? I can't show it on Twitch.com, but, uh, there sure is vending machines. Yeah, there's an, <laughs> a non-zero amount. There's, there's a non-zero amount of vending machines if you want to look on your own free time. I'm going to do yeah. my job, which is this. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, there isn't any porn from the vending machine anime, but there's a lot of vending machine porn. Wait, is that, how is that, is that not normal? Yeah, I, I don't uh, know. What's, I it, what's don't... a Timbit? It sounds like a video game currency. <laughs> I'm sorry, you fucking, you think I fucking know the amount of vending machine porn there is regularly? <laughs> yeah, like, we, why would you check that? Um, my team was trying to say, Matt, they're not Tim Bits, they're Bieber Bits. First off, they're called Tim Biebs, and they're a limited edition thing. They're normally called Tim Bits, though. Mm. And I Get was learned like, about Canadian shit, and, Lion Tamer. And Fuck. I was like, baby... Baby, baby, woo. God damn it. Black Century King saying at least they're not sticking it in toasters. That's Draft true. Draft saying that you swore. Uh, no, I didn't. I, actually, you did say swear. You did say the, you did say fuck, like, two, like, you said fuck fucking vending machine porn. There's like eight people saying you swore. Well, fine. Fine. Ruin my dreams, everybody. Remember how I said hey, you could your dreams could be anything and you could reach your dreams? Guess what? I lied. My dream is to beat the swear timer. Guess what? <laughs> I did it. I did it. You know why? You know you know why your dreams can't come true, everybody. Just give up. Just lay down. Look at your life. Look at your choices. <laughs> you did this. You did this. Yeah. You crushed one person's dream. How do you feel, crew? How do you, how does it feel to be monsters? Uh, Justin said, don't call my bluff next time, winky face. Don't be a dill hole next time, winky face. Roy Johnson saying, when will you learn that your, ad your actions have consequences? I, I will never learn that. I refuse to learn that. I am an innocent person who has made it this far by being an innocent guy. But you're not that innocent, though. I am, though. No. Also, uh, I'm not saying anything, to be honest. I, just think he, I don't think you did it. You didn't blame me for that. You had a dreams. Uh, fucking... I had dreams. Uh, cool username said, sticking your dick in a vending machine sounds unsanitary. Now I'm worried whenever I use one that someone stuck their dick in it. Listen, that's between you and the vending machine. Okay, I'm not, I'm not out here to judge anybody. I'm not, like, I'm not here to kink shame, but you guys, you gotta... Come on, people eat from there. Like, come on. Sometimes sometimes you're working a late night shift and you're like at the hospital or something and some ER doctor's like, ah, another 12-hour day of saving orphan babies from cancer. Man, I'm working <laughs> so hard. Saving people from, from viruses and also cancer and also replacing people's organs when they fail me the first doctor to ever do a quadruple triple sow cow heart bypass a hero even goes to the vending machine late night he goes up to the vending machine and he sees a can of pringles and he's like oh boy a delicious can of pringles and he types in he puts his money his hard-earned money his hard-earned doctor surgeon <laughs> money into the coin slot and he puts his coin in and the vending machine moans and he goes i'm just must be tired <laughs> and he presses the buttons and out comes a cool, nice can of Pringles. And he sticks open the flap and he goes to put his hand in to grab the Pringles. And the vending machine moans again. And he's like, what is happening? And as he grabs his Pringles, it's not a Pringles, it's a dinky. Okay? And this poor, hardworking surgeon who's a, a hero, a literal hero, 
He has to break down and cry, and you have ruined the surgeon's life. He was working so hard. He was working a 19-hour shift, okay? His co-worker called it sick, and to make up for it, he did nine surgeries on orphans by himself. And you guys did this to him. You did this to him. So think about that. Next time you're... That Next time you're wanking into vending machines, I want you to think of that doctor, man. I want you to think about him. <laughs> that was a saga. Yeah, I want you to think about Re him. Were you saying I'm clipping this later? Please do. My God. Um, feel like you're using this thing. Is the doctor hot? <laughs> he... He is so hot. He was nominated for Hot Doctor 2019. But he he actually, when they were like, wow, you won Hot Doctor 2019, he actually turned it down and he went, I'm just doing my job. Because not only is he super ridiculously attractive, he's also modest as fuck. And you ruined his life. <laughs> you, you made him put his hand in a vending machine hoping to get a handful of Pringle. And all he got was a handful of Dicky. Because you keep going the internet and typing in vending machine porn and this is all your guys' fault <laughs> yeah look what you did look what you uh, did uh cool you didn't think was can you turn this into a novel uh like you're asking why is was drawing sword next to pair the platypus and box goofy <laughs> it's donald i forgot what donald's hat looks like i'm sorry I forgot what Donald's <laughs> hat looks like. Don't bulk elevating at me for this. I'm being so valid. <laughs> anyway, they went into the Jenga verse. Also, uh, everyone's saying modest as fuck and you swore. So you have like five people saying oh, you swore. Oh, come on. He was modest though. You guys are ruining, you guys are ruining this doctor's life. You guys are, are ruining Dr. Ab Plorbano's life. Ab Plorblano? Yeah. Ab Plorblano. That's his name. That, that's Dr. Plorblano. You are ruining Dr. Plorbano's life. <laughs> that's... I mean, that's rather unfortunate for him. <laughs> Uh, in the long run yeah that kind of sucks for him yeah you guys are ruining Dr. Plorblano Dr. Donald's head doesn't have enough zippers Miss Candy Corn oh according my god to get off my weenie <laughs> fair does this appease you is you have still everything you doing good over there Wazzy no I'm not this is what happens to, listen, this is what happens to a person when you subject them to be known as the internet person who had to read the entirety of Reborn as a Vending Machine and now I wonder the dungeon. I'm not even cool enough. I'm not even cool enough to be to be known as, as the person who read this. I'm going to die anonymously, but yet everybody's going to know. I don't even get the title of noted internet dirtbag or anything like that. I'm going to die cold and alone knowing I had to read the entirety of this vending machine anime. <laughs> and Crunchyroll won't even let me voice it. And even if they do, they'll only pay me enough to buy a Wendy's Frosty and not even the small fries to dip into the Frosty. Pay your voice actors. <laughs> the point of this rant is pay your voice actors. I mean, that, that's a, that's a, that's a solid point. That's a solid and reasonable point. Also, uh, Cash Lover saying, hopefully this information makes you feel a little better. I have to get my tetanus shot, and my flu shot today. My arm hurts, and this is mildly inconvenient to me. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're mildly inconvenienced. You ruined Doctor Plorblano's life. I'm trying. What's I'm saying it wrong? Yeah, you, you, I don't you know think how you mean to say, talk, How do you like say a the word? Like a poblano pepper? Yeah, that's not trying poblano. to say. Poblano. 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 There. Yeah, doctor him. You ru you ruined his life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
let's see. Um, Donald's hat is a sailor hat. Uh, you know, when the anime comes out, Chad's going to be begging you to see and give your opinion. Jeff <laughs> saying, as she's going from my hero academic questions person to vending machine hentai reader. I just, I wanted to be known as the, as the cool internet bad boy. How am I supposed to be known as the cool internet bad boy when I have to commit to five readings of Reborn as a vending machine and now I wander the dungeon where a guy makes uncomfortable amounts of passes at a person he then later calls kid. Yeah, that that's gross. That is just straight up gross. Anyway, here's Sora in the in the in the Jenga world, and as an added bonus, I gave you Donald and Goofy along there too. Yeah. Also, uh, Banani's saying uh, we should do a read through of the live action Powerpuff Girls pilot. No, I would rather lay down and be stabbed in the ear. Here's things I would oh. rather do: be stabbed in the ear, meet the testicle devil. G- Chew the entirety of somebody else's gum. Mm. Yeah. Blech. Those are things I'd rather do. Uh, I'm going to do Blech. this Chainsaw Man, but it's a four kids dub, so it's for kids. <laughs> because that okay, sounds great. That does sound great. Uh, yeah, Benani, you wanted to do a live, the live action Powerpuff Girls pilot as a read through? Uh,. Oh, and Orion asked how the Dead Space stream went. It went pretty good. It went bad. Did you know there's a monster that flies? And it sucks other dudes and makes the dudes into other dudes. Your communication skills are through the roof today. (laughs) There they are. I am in distress if you haven't noticed. I gathered. I gathered that you're having you're having a time. And it was very much, was it a good time? No. Was it a bad time? Not necessarily. Hmm. Let's see. Probably didn't help that I kept, uh, at the Dead Space, Orion referring to the Dead Space stream, probably didn't help that I kept bingle bangling her. It really didn't. All the noise compl- uh, notifications were really not helping. Yeah. A uh, nocturnal blade saying Mark Duffalo was the true hero of that stream. <laughs> Mark Duffalo. I gotta go clip that still. I love freaking Mark Duffalo. Get, don't party horn me! How do I make chainsaw? Well, he can't not be a chainsaw. But he has to, like, not chainsaw his friends. Um. Yeah. But his chainsaw doesn't actually maim anyone. It uh, It saps their energy. Bingle bangle. Ooh, yeah, you should send them to the to the chainsaw world. Which I mean is yeah. technically kind of a thing he does. Uh, yeah, technically he does. I need to draw Aki because I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Aki well, to be fair, Aki's a good boy. He is. Freaking watch Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Yeah, episode two just came out today. Watch it and enjoy it. It good. Uh, where I did put up a made the clip of the saga of Mark Duffel. That was great. Uh, the other day I told my sister that Tara Strong voices bubbles and a lot of the characters she didn't believe she voiced. But Tara Strong's done a shit ton of voices. Oh yeah, she's she has a very prolific career. Yeah, she's she's done. I don't want to say she's done it all, but she's done a lot. Okay, it's gonna be a chainsaw, but it's gonna have the consistency of like those child safety scissors. (laughs) They're not. They're not actually gonna hurt anybody. Yeah, no one will actually get hurt from this chainsaw. The chainsaw sends them all to friendship land. Oh no. Chainsaw man. I lost a totally uh, legitimate fight of rock, paper, scissors with you. I guess now I'll have to go build the snowball fort. 
If you've read Chainsaw Man, that'll make you sad. <laughs> it, it it did. It did make me sad. Good. I'm glad that's what it was meant to do. Mm. Benetti said, if I had enough bits, I'd ask you to pronounce that Tsune Miku. I always mess up her. her, her I, I always mess up the not Miku part. Every time, every time I say Hatsune, I say it a different way. I'm like, Hatsune. Hatsune. Uh, Hatsune. 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 Oh, man. It's me, Hatsune. Hatsune. Um, yeah, every time. Every time I say it, I mess it up. <laughs> Don't call me out also, like this. You guys know I can't pronounce things. Yeah. Also, been anything we watched the first episode of Chainsaw. It's pretty okay so far. I hate you. You're supposed to yeah. fall in love with it and tell me I'm right all the time. <laughs> also, uh, Electrify put in a hydrate, a stretch, and a save reminder. Oh, dang. That's a lot of things I now got to do. The trifecta. Ah! All right, snip. Also, <laughs> Fanatti saying, my Mario would be so bad. Mama Mia. Mama <laughs> Mia. <laughs> Mama Mia. Here we go again. My, my. I'm just saying, How can I would I be a better you? Mario. Hire me. I, I'm a better Mario. It's a me. I'm a better Mario. Ozzy, mm -hmm. I, I I believe, and I'm just going to say this because I'm going to talk about a conversation about a conversation we've repeatedly had outside of streams. Mm -hmm. But how you have a, a you have some <laughs> difficulty. Uh, <laughs> you, gonna... you have some difficulty doing accents when it comes to voices, because every accent comes out either sounding like you in within two seconds or sounding extremely inappropriate. <laughs> Why are you gonna call me out like this? Why why are you gonna call me out like this? Because it's important to note that while you while you yes would be a better uh, Mario than Chris Pratt, that's you you wouldn't be the best choice for Mario. I would be I wouldn't be the best choice, but I think I'm a better one. <laughs> well, yeah, everyone's a better one than Chris Pratt. Anyone who, because I guarantee. Like nowhere, I guarantee, goddamn tea, that Chris Pratt has never even looked at a Super Mario game. I guarantee he has no, no fucking clue what he's he talking about. He told me himself. He spent his entire life stomping Koopas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he. It's like he wrote a different note on each finger, but in it in the incorrect order, and he had to look through his fingers to figure out which one was the right word it to was, use. It was literally it was literally like chris pratt looks at smudged writing on hands uh coopers, coopers. <laughs> yeah also uh, your swear timer's up yay fuck yeah i told you i could do it follow your dreams everybody if you, listen if somebody could get a vending machine porn um in into print you too could beat swear timer yeah okay gosh i was saying bowser's gonna be the best part of the super mario movie oh yeah he absolutely is like Jack Black is going to carry that movie without a shadow of a doubt. I don't even have to think about it. I know. Totally kid See. friendly. Yeah. Chainsaw Man. <laughs> uh, Drafts is like someone hit her with another one. No. And before Bowser is in three minutes of it. If Bowser's only in three minutes of the movie, well, there's a good reason why I'm al I'm already at the point where I'm not paying to see this movie. I refuse. I abjectly, fully, and totally refuse to pay money for it. Don't say that. So we're already at that step. Do you want me to get banned by the Twitch police? We're sitting here advocating for stealing things. Do you think Twitch is going to be happy about that? Twitch well, no, I never here and be like, hey, hey, hey. I I never said I would steal it. I said I would no I would not spend a dime of my own money on it. Okay. Well, I was advocating for stealing it. <laughs> I mean, so I mean, I am too, honestly. <laughs> uh what okay. uh Brony asking what curious what is your reason, Matt? Because Illumination made it. A, it's a like A Illumination made it. B, like I guarantee it's not going to be worth the dollarage I put into it. I was honestly shocked that Sonic the Hedgehog was going to be worth the money. Uh, but 
like I was going into it with like I, I went to into that one with low expectations. Mario, I have such low expectations. I, I need to see a full trailer before I really promise anything. That's true. I'm just mad that they didn't take um, Charles Marnet. So that's my reasoning. He was yeah, right should there. <laughs> should have been Charles. Also, uh, first time chat from Mythical Derpy Kate saying <laughs> Crisp Rat didn't even try. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He no. looked at the script and was like, I can't wait to stop these. Koopas. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I played the original Mario Arcade game and I stomped a bunch of Koopas. That's the one game in which stomping Koopas will kill you. Um, You didn't put enough of a pause in there, Matt. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm not a good Chris Pratt actor because fuck that guy. <laughs> It's, it's more one of those, like, and I want to be able to, su- the worst part is I want to be able to support the artists who worked on it, because visually speaking, it looks great. Yeah, actually, it looks better than I anticipated. Yeah, like, the only thing that really threw me off was Mario's face and head shape. That doesn't look, that doesn't feel right. It feels too round, if that makes sense. Everything else is <laughs> chef's kiss. Like, everything else looks a plus plus exactly <laughs> as I hoped it would. Mario, your head's too round. We don't like your type around here, round head. <laughs> <laughs> also, Roy Johnson saying Chris Pratt was a bad choice, but sadly, I don't think there's any universe where Charles Martin would play Mario. It was always going to be another celebrity because of Hollywood. That's I'm, true. I, this is the thing. And would you guys like to hear the worst take I've ever heard of on this entire thing? Somebody said to me, or they didn't say it to me, they said it on Twitter, which is a cesspool of terrible ideas anyway. Somebody said on Twitter, they were like, I'm okay with it being Chris Pratt. You guys have to understand, in order to sell the Mario movie, you have to put Chris Pratt in there. And I'm like, I'm sorry, sell the Mario movie. My mom knows who Mario is, but doesn't know who Chris Pratt is. I'm just putting that out there. My mother know would go see Mario, irrelevant of of Chris Pratt's involvement in it, because yeah, you think you you need. I'm sorry, you need the star power of Chris Pratt to. I'm not on swear timer to fucking sell Mario. Uh, I'm j- just a second. I'm just going to quickly check something on IMDb. Um, I'm go- I'm put- I'm looking up Chris Pratt. I'm looking up Chris Pratt on IMDb. I'm going to see what his first ever role was. Not even his first ever culturally relevant role. His first ever role. His first ever role was in the- it was in 2000 in a short called Cursed Part Three. Mm. His first his first culturally relevant would have been Everwood in 2002. Simply put, Mario was relevant I believe that would have been over like over 15 years over 15 years longer than Chris Pratt has. So simply put, fuck that, you don't need Chris Pratt to sell something because Mario Mario's had a more culturally relevant career than Chris Pratt has. Objectively, Like, fuck. Uh, Mankart saying, uh, Oslo Mario lost his package. He can't poop anymore. Well, that's like for whoever Oslo Mario is. Um, I'm Mamma Mia. <laughs> yeah. Kakashi Lover saying, you don't need a minute to sell the movie. Nintendo's Legions of Hands, I would have seen it no matter what. Uh, so let's saying, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi sounds like he's in his late 40s or sounds older, right? I don't remember the game much. I don't know. I didn't play Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi Manton. Luigi Mansion. Luigi Mansion. All right. Luigi Manton. Here is Four Kids Chainsaw Man. Oh, man, CM, you beat me rock, paper, scissors. Guess I'm going to the snowball fight. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. Uh, it's great. <laughs> the movie's going to make money. We're going to get a bunch of sequels of Pratt Mario. Just accept the reality because it's going to happen. I hate that you're right. And I hate more that Illumination Studios is the one that's going to do the work. Because they're then going to use that money to make more freaking Minions movies. 
You don't want more Minions movies? I want to go back in time and personally executioner style shoot the inventor of Minions in the back of the head. Wow. Actually, that, that's a bit excessive. No, I just want to essentially him be like, I want to be in the pitch meeting where it's like, oh, no, Minions, they're going to be the newest hot craze. I'm going to be like, they look at Banana Tic Tacs. They're fucking stupid. Get them out of my face. <laughs> banana like, Tic Tacs. It could catch the rest of the Minion in the movie and we're going to lose it. Uh, Ryan said, uh, they'll probably be in the background. The They'll pro- I bet you anything, they're going to put it in the background. Yeah. And I'm going to hate it. Aztec's saying, actually, now that I think about it, wouldn't the, wouldn't the Mario movie be better with Danny DeVito as Mario? Man, yes. I mean, you're not wrong at all. Also, Danny DeVito's objectively a better human being. Mm. So, like, it's a, it's a win-win. Mm. The minions will appear doing the Illumination logo. Well, yeah, okay, that doesn't count. We're talking about like in the movie, not in the freaking opening credits. Or in the o- in the opening company lines. It's not even the opening credits. Ah, uh, it's just it's a it's it's a piss poor situation that sucks all around, everybody. Yeah. Listen, look at the world we're living in today. <laughs> Pay your voice actors, except for Chris Pratt. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. No, don't. Oh, Chris Pratt doesn't, A, he doesn't need the money. B, he actively I know, supports but terrorists. Do, oh, yeah, that's true. Um, But people should be paid for their work. Um, that's true. Just pay Chris Pratt less. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I guess there. that's okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Uh, no, I can totally pronounce his name. I got this. I've got this. Nobody worry. Nobody panic. I'm great. Don't you worry. Mm-mm. Welcome to the crew, Art Row JJ. Ace that. Ace that. Put a nice. Wazzy wins on the board. Put a Wazzy wins on the board for that one. Anyway, welcome to the crew. I'm Wazzy. I'm an normally animating, and today I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm Arting. I'm Wazzy. I'm Arting. At you. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! What? Uh, Lion's Hair said, would either Matt and Wazzy ra- rather eat a bowl of pumpkin cheesecake ice cream while watching the Minions duology or a bowl of candy corn while watching the original footage for Sonic movie with Ugly Sonic? Oh, boy, that's a hard one. Oh, man, crew. Am, am oh. I allowed to drink a significant amount of alcohol so I can black out the memory of the Minions duology while eating that ice cream? Matt, make that a poll. Make that a poll. Eat pumpkin okay. cheesecake ice cream while watching the Minions duology. You know what though? Ugly Sonic, as ugly as Sonic was, um, the movie still had decent enough writing that I probably could have stomached it. I don't think the I've never seen the Minions movie, but I'm very sure its writing is piss poor. And considering the fact that Minions don't really talk. They just go like ba 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 or something. See, I I just don't eat candy corn. Also, I can't I make it a poll because corn. those answers are way too long. Mm. To uh. Mm. Dang. Crew, yeah. Also, crew, give me your opinions. Yeah. Also, uh, if I no alcohol, all sober, uh, I'd still pick the pumpkin cheesecake ice cream because I'm lactose intolerant and I'd spend half the movie shitting myself in the bathroom and not having to watch it. Haha. Uh-huh. I'd rather I'd rather <laughs> have the worst shits of my life than watch minions. And I'd also <laughs> rather have the worst shits of my life than eat candy corn. <laughs> wow, okay. Alright, I guess. Uh Miles saying what's with Chris and Terrorism? Oh, uh his I believe it's his brother is uh a three percenter is what they're called, and it's actually a designated hate group in Canada. Uh because they are they're act they and they, I believe they've actively they actively supported the uh, January sixth insurrection, and actually do like and actually commit hate crimes. And uh, Chris Pratt is very supportive of his, of his brother. All right, there was Chainsaw Man, but it was for kids. Yeah. Um, Plus, we're seeing the Minions movie was like eating chalk. It never got better. In some parts, were impossible to choke down. <laughs> I never say you can get your shit buckets. You don't have to leave the screen and watch the movies. 
I'd rather not. Um, can, can my option be, can I just die? Can I just... No. All right. The request I'm taking is the, the moment childlike innocence is shattered. That's gonna is, it the, is it the moment that an executioner saw kill the minions inventor? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's definitely not it. There's, there's, a, there's a better way to visualize that. Crew, what was the moment your innocence was shattered? What was the moment hmm. your sense of childlike wonder was absolutely ruined? Uh, see, I don't know what mine is. Also, this kind of looks like Kirby with ears, and that's something I kind of want to draw now. <laughs> Do you have to, though? Uh, no, but it's it's in my body. Um, yeah, you, you, you could just keep it in there and not and not bring it out. I mean, who am I kidding? No, you should you should draw it. Fuck it, never mind. Disregard my previous statement. Um. Yeah, it's the moment you heard Mario's voice in the movie. I went to Google Chrome Images. We're going to do it this way. I've decided how we're going to do this. Don't mind me, crew. I'm not doing anything in the background. Oh, God, yes, this is a perfect picture for this. Yes. All right, everybody. I'm going to show you the moment childlike innocence was shattered. Oh, I hate when The it's, moment. I hate when it takes a minute to load. <laughs> it's always concerning <laughs> when the program is like, ooh, I don't know if I want to do this. Turns out that it doesn't want to do this. It's like, please... Please, sir. No! <laughs> Get that face out of here! No! Mamma mia, everybody! Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. POV, Sonic X fan, Google about Shadow the Hedgehog, worst mistake of their life. Oh, no. No, no, no. La uh, Rogue of Light said, uh, "Last day of third grade is when innocence died." <laughs> that that's oddly specific. <laughs> oh boy, childhood trauma. <laughs> oh, Heckle Jackson. The moment I realized life ain't a cartoon, not the good kind of cartoon. I think the moment innocence died for me was the moment I realized that when you turn a TV off, the show that you were watching doesn't stop. Because, like, I'm a child of the 90s, so, like, I only watch TV. I didn't have anything cool like YouTube or Netflix or anything. And so when I would, like, I was watching a cartoon on TV, and I was like, oh, I gotta go do something with my mom. And I turned off the TV. It was like, this show will be here for me when I get back. And when I came back, the show wasn't waiting for me. And that was the moment my life was over. <laughs> that was the moment my childlike wonder disappeared. Was the moment I knew that when you turned off a TV, your show won't be waiting for you when you get back. Oh. As well as life goes faster than you think. <laughs> uh, Kakash Deliver was when childhood is inside for me is when I learned that you have to use money to buy things. Ah, yes, capitalism. <laughs> yeah. I remember saying when I had to move away from my best friend and first love, I was kind of depressed. That was when I was 10 years old. Aw, that sucks. Yeah. That's, as we say in the industry, rough, buddy. That it is. Also, Lion Tamer saying, Wazzy, would you rather have to eat a dilly bar every other night as a dessert? Or every time you go to bed, a mint chocolate appears on your pillow and you must eat it without washing it down? I would 100% eat a dilly bar over mint chocolate. That's not even a question to me. If I have to choose the lesser of evils, I would rather chew on the beef jerky of ice cream than ever put mint chocolate chip anywhere in or near my mouth. 
I'm serious. You could laugh all you want. You could have a little hee hee ha ha hoo hoo time. But 100%, if I have to choose, nah, uh fuck you, mint chocolate. Mint chocolate was the worst thing anybody's ever invented. I don't know why they did this. Let's take the most overpowering flavor we can think of and mix it with chocolate. Is that a good idea? Yeah, that's a good fucking idea. Let's do that. Ha ha ha, idiots. Absolute fools. Uh, Rogue saying I'd rather be possessed by Satan than watch either of those movies. Oh, we're talking about the minions or the ugly Sonic cut? Okay, wait. Which would be the... Which would be the... Oh, actually, no, I know which one's the preferable movie to watch, but... Ugly Sonic cut or butthole cut of cats movie? Oh, man, Sonic movie. At least I don't Sonic have to listen to butthole cats singing. Yeah, that's true. All right, Tamara, you've activated my trap card. It's a mint chocolate dilly bar. No, I don't want that. But now it's here. I'm on my Mia. Crew, how, how about this? Mm. I promise, mm. I solemnly swear, mm -hmm. that if our local Dairy Queen mm. sells mint chocolate dilly bars at any point in time, mm. I will bring them into this household. Mm. And you will die. And I will have Wazi... Have a bite of one on stream. No, gross. No, fuck that. No. Just a bite. Just a no, little nibble. No, no, I refuse. You can't do that. Just a, a little nibbly do. You can't do that. That's illegal. I refuse. <laughs> Who runs this fucking bitch? That's right. Claws of Burns saying, quick, put one on her throne. I fucking, I run this shit. There you go, everybody. This is the moment innocence died. Here it is. Here it is, everybody. Mamma mia. A a mamma mia, everybody. A mamma mia. A mamma mia. <laughs> Stop it, Mom. Koopas. Mama, and I cannot stress this hard enough. Mia. <laughs> there. There we go. There you go, everybody. The moment innocence died for you. <laughs> Also, uh, Rira is asking what the butthole cut is. Uh, it's a alleged cut of the Cats movie from 2019, where all the characters had buttholes. Alleged, because I guarantee it doesn't actually exist. It might. You say alleged, but I don't know. Okay, so here's going to be that... Yeah. I also don't know, but, you know. So, here's a fun thing about Pokemon. Um, what's, a, what's a fun thing? There's... I can't remember the name of it. I but could probably tell you Bolt. what it is. If was it at Belly, Belly Bolt? Bolt. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Okay. So the Belly Bolt Pokemon, he's got a secret face on him. <laughs> His eyes are secret. Also, as a side point, Latin Tamer just said, Matt, I will Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, whatever money app you need, $500 to have was it eat mint, a mint chocolate dilly bar. No. <laughs> no, listen, listen. I told you guys I'm a sellout. I will do anything. Somebody's like, "Hey, I'll get you a fucking frosty." I'll do. I'll fucking do anything for that. Like I'm like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I'm a little sellout man. Like fucking. Like I'm like I'm like Denji levels here. You roll up. You're like, here's a cigarette. I'll pay you a dollar to eat this cigarette. I'll fucking do it. I won't do that. I won't. I would rather eat a lit cigarette from a stranger for a dollar than that. <laughs> <laughs> Sellout has a uh, one. Uh, would you rather? Mm -hmm. uh, would you rather eat ten candy corn, but one of them is rigged with the strongest mint flavor, impossible to tell them apart, or eat five M and M's in a row in a bowl of mixed M and M's and Skittles? Oh God! See, at least I like both M and M's and Skittles. Like, but you have to keep eating them until you get five M and M's in a row. <laughs> And and they're, I'm assuming the M's and S's have been taken off. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have to eat five candies or I have to eat five M&M's? Five M&M's 
uh, you have to take a handful and eat all of them until you hit five M and M's. I don't know, man. I don't like any of this. Can I? Oh God. Okay, I guess that one. The M and M's in a row. Yeah, I guess I do the M and M's in a row instead of candy. Because look, look, you guys don't understand how much I don't like mint. Yeah, while he despises. I think mint. you guys are missing the entire point of how much I don't like mint. I don't fucking yeah. like mint. It's a fair. It's a strong, awkward flavor for everybody involved. <laughs> it's the worst fucking thing. I don't know how anybody can like mint. Mint is just like this overpowering little guy. Like, it's just, like, just fucking, it's just fucking awful. Like, you're trying to eat something, and if there's even, like, a touch of mint in it, it's just, like, overpowering mint flavor. It's it's unpleasant. Mint is fucking awful, and I hate it. Uh, see, and we'll agree to disagree on that. Also, Electrify is trying to say, what about a coffee dilly bar? God, oh, no, that would be unpleasant that also sounds disgusting uh, luckily i don't think they make those yeah yeah i don't think they do either also banani saying we should have had a mint flavored soda during extra life no you're absolutely no we banani, shouldn't you're, have. banani you are so valid that you're is so very, valid. that is a war crime against specifically me you're so valid that is that is a war crime against little wazis am i not the cool like i'm sorry crew am i not a cool dude I'm not. I uh, am I not a cool fucking rad dude? Like, <laughs> why do you do this of... to specifically me? There's a lot of ways to just make your own mint soda. Apparently, I don't want to make my own mint soda. The, this is not a fucking thing I want in my life. This is not a. This is not a. I'm not sitting here going. Well, I bet a mint soda would be good if I just made it myself. No, that's not at all what I'm fucking implying. I'm implying it's fucking terrible. That's <laughs> what so I was saying. Uh, what uh, banana? What about just hot water? Uh, no, that was the hot dog water. Oh yeah, that was funny. That that was hilarious. Uh, Rear is asking, how do you feel about the scent of mint, Wazzy? I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I'm, it's overpowering. It's this little shitty plant that's just like fucking kicking everybody in the dick. It's got no right to be as fucking loud and absorbent and <laughs> exorbitant as it is. Loud. It's a, it's a fucking, it's a fucking little eccentric plant and nobody likes mint. Everybody a lot just of people like, like everybody's mint a just lot. like, oh, I'll just put like a little touch of mint on it. No, no, you're just blasting everything's asshole out with mint. There's, there's definitely a lot of people who enjoy mint. Mm, doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem fucking right. I don't like it. Speaking of fucking, uh, Miles Saxton. <laughs> Segway. Uh, yeah, just, uh, Miles uh, put in a spare timer plus. Oh, okay. Well, that's Which means fair, we both can't swear. It means, it means you suffer with me. Yeah. Also, Lion Tamer, speak, and speaking of wanting to swear, Wazzy, uh, Lion Tamer says, I still chuckle when I think back to when Matt and Wazzy had McDonald's shakes and Wazzy's shake was contaminated by Matt's because he had a shamrock shake. So hers ended up being a strawberry mint shake. It was awful. Lion Tamer, that was the time that um, <laughs> McDonald's tried to assassinate me. And I'm going to tell you a fun fact about that McDonald's. That McDonald's is now under construction and dead. That McDonald's is no more, so it can't hurt me anymore. It can't hurt me. It's dead. It's dead. It's over with everybody. It, well, it, for now, it's getting renovated. It, it's dead. It's dead to me. The, you see what renovated. happens? You see what happens, crew? Do you see what happens when you push Wazzy to the breaking point, crew? Do you see what happens? Do you see how McDonald's <laughs> get shut down when they try to kill me with shamrock shakes? Do you see what happens? Huh? You see what happens when you fuck around and find out? I don't even care. I'll reset the swear timer. Fuck around and find out, crew. Fuck Why are you around making me suffer? Out. Maybe, maybe this is what happens when you make a dude read an uncomfortable amount of vending machine softcore porn. Huh? Huh? Maybe that's what happens, dudes. <laughs> My God. Uh, oh, these are all sentences that never existed before today. Also, Banani's saying if it's under construction, it's gonna rise like a phoenix. No, it's not. Why do you think it it's is. under construction? Why do you think it's under construction? Maybe I took it out, huh? 
You ever think maybe I could go? <laughs> it, it, that's, it's definitely not it, though. Also, Kakashi Lover thinking it was just a little bit of Manjiro Kendo when he's trying to assassinate you. No! Uh, Sarawat's no. giving me ideas for uh, little things to... Uh, little things to brighten Wazzy's day. I'm leaving. Uh, if Banani's it. still a check, if Banani do me a cool boy solid and uh, tell me which uh, which part of the tail is, is the red one, is it the top or bottom? <laughs> I'm not streaming. Every time, right? I'm not streaming with Banani. How the fuck am I supposed to know which color is which, okay? Fuck. God damn. Yeah. I Double Decker look, McDonald's. I can't just look at my sc screen and be like, yep, that's Banani. Yeah. Gosh, I was saying, how many mental breakdowns has Wazzy had during the stream? Uh, Benetti said at Today least two. Today or in two. total? <laughs> Today. You've had like two or three. I'm on a very crew. I'm on a knife edge. I'm on a little knife edge. I have read eight chapters of Vending Machine softcore porn. And I am looking towards an uncomfortable amount of more. I am looking towards the rest and it's, it doesn't here. I'm going to read you guys. Remember how I said, do, do you, hmm. wait, sorry. Go on ahead. Um, I'm going to read you guys one of the last sentence of volume one. <clears throat> Suddenly the expressiveness on the teammates faces thins out and vanishes. Their banter is gone without a trace Standing there now are beast-like predators, eyes sharp, targeting their prey. The girl embraces the magic box down in the collapsed hole, and they watch it carefully. There you go. <laughs> That's what happens to a dude. Yeah, that, that Happy absolutely fun time. Is. This is what happens. Okay, remember how, like, in Five Nights at Freddy's, there's, like, Fun Time Bonnie? You know how, like, there was, yeah. like, Fun Time Bonnie and, and stuff, and that was, like, they were animatronics and stuff like that? That's what's happening, crew. F fun Time Wazzy is dead. You killed Fun Time Wazzy. <laughs> That's what's uh... happened. That's what's happened. And it makes me sad. I like Funtime Wazzy. I miss Funtime Wazzy. Uh, also, Banani's confirming the top is blue, the bottom is pink. For the tail. Okay, thank you. No worries. <laughs> Rogue of Light saying, my only regret is that not, hard, not hardcore. Sarlet saying, what are the odds someone's going to buy a condom in the book? I hope not. Because, unfortunately, the thing is, is um, everything that the kid has access, the everything the vending machine has access to is something he bought in real life. Yeah. So, if he bought, but I highly doubt he bought, knowing, knowing what I know about this vending machine character, <laughs> I highly doubt the vending machine character ever, ever bought a condom. And if they did, they didn't use it. I mean, yeah, the, the odds are astronomically small, but they're not zero. It's true. It's true. It's not uh, zero. Yeah. You guys should ever say after we're done with the vending machine novels, we should find a fan fiction for Wazzy to read. Uh, Miles is saying it's Glamrock Bonnie, not Fun Time. Cause, yeah, because it's Fun Time Freddy. Crew, I'm going to tell you a secret. I don't care enough. I don't care enough about Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm sorry, Freddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Matt Pat. I'm sorry. I'm not ready for a whole bunch of Freddy Fazbear freaking... That's just a theory. Game theories. I'm I'm done. I don't I don't want them. I don't want them anymore. This is how Matt Pat feels when he has to do 900 th theories about fun time. He probably closes his eyes to s 
to sleep and like fucking fun time Bonnie Fassbear like comes out of nowhere. It's like, hey, 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 just fucking let's play. And like it sinks him to sleep when he closes his eyes in a bed of money as he rubs his own merch on his own body. He probably thinks about Freddy Fazbear. All right. And Lion Tamer saying that you swore. I had every right to. I had every right. No one could take that away from me. <laughs> I mean, that, that's technically true. Uh, the he 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 was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> how many mental breakdowns are we on now? Like, I think that's our fourth or fifth. <laughs> How are, you, uh, how are you doing, Wazzy? Not fucking swell. Yeah. <laughs> Line different things. Is that supposed to be Froggy Dresses Belly Bolt or Banana you're interacting with the Belly Bolt? Is the eyes on it too big? There's two, two, two dots instead of get googly eyes? I know they're two dots, but this is Froggy. Yeah, Froggy is you the Belly I Bolt. Don't, you, think I, you think I don't know that? <laughs> it's supposed to be Froggy, so I had to make the eyes Froggy. Yeah. Also, so Cyril Bananion was saying, uh, would you be fun time wazzy for a Scooby snack? And Cyril was saying, would you do it for a coffee crisp? You know what? I probably would. I have coffee crisps coming to my house. You uh, do? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was Kakashi Lover ordered them. I think. I can't remember oh. who ordered them now. I'm so sorry. I forgot whoever ordered them last. But somebody's sending them to my house. I can't remember who, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, they're coming. Even Scooby at some point had to say, rot roll Raggy, rot rocked Raggy, you know? <laughs> at some point. At some point. I can't yeah. even remember how Banani's hair goes. That's how gone I am, everybody. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Stream might be um no stream tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> yeah, there's a possibility oh, that tomorrow you're gonna be. My you're mental gonna be... health is. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> yeah, everything's cool, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. What well, was he may be having a fun, having an interesting time during the stream? But she'll get a nice big hug when it's done. And she'll be okay. I'll be okay. I'm just, I'm just in a mood. pet a kitty. <laughs> I'm just in a mood and it's fine. Hmm. Tail had uh, to go to the doctor. It was great. It was great. Yeah. Sure love that. <laughs> yeah, because she went and tripped over herself. She, okay, uh, here's a fun fact about my idiot cat. Scared her own self. Um, and wound up having to go to the vet because she has a sprained, um, pretty much a sprained ankle, essentially. Sprained weird cat ankle. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, yeah, she definitely sprained, she definitely, like, roundhouse kicked the frame, our bed frame, and sprained her ankle doing so. Cats, everybody. Cats. Yeah, cats be catting. Uh, also, Banana is saying, uh, coffee crisps were so good, I might add them to my throne. Also, all-dressed chips. Oh, yeah. I gotta send more all-dressed chips to Cat. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta find, yeah, we have to, like, ship a crate. Either that, or I, I, I remember correctly, I was looking for, like, a all-dressed flavor shaker. Ooh. And send that and be like, make your own damn all-dressed chips. <laughs> make it yourself! Make, your make own it your own self! self. Dang self. Crew, you son of a bench. Crew, crew. Tell me something good. Tell me something good and nice in this world. Look me in the eye and tell me everything's going to be okay. Tell me something cool and nice. Yeah, tell, yeah. Us, tell us something cool I'm and nice. I'm tired of learning... Voice actors are not getting the money they need. I'm tired of hearing beloved childhood icons are actually, in reality, terrible pieces of human. I'm tired of hearing... Uh, what what else is wrong right now? Lots of things. Tell me a good, fun event. It doesn't even yeah. need to be that good. 
I'll take anything at this moment. Yeah, say, tell us something positive. Sarla, this is from previously in the chat. Sarla saying something that definitely is not great for her mental health. Technically, Throne is just a vending machine. Sour Light, can you do me a solid and ban yourself? Sour, Sour, can you ban? Can you, can, Sour Light, can you, can you just, Sour Light, can you just do me a solid real quick? Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Uh, ben, I said I got a crazy good bonus for my work over the summer. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kakashi said, my brother's dog will bring me things that she likes, like a plastic bottle and a leaf and a sock, and then she'll walk away and bring it back to me because she wants to share with me. Aw, that's really cute. I like that. Yeah. Uh, Aztec saying, is here something nice I'm going to get my graduation confirmation in the next week or two? That's awesome. Oh, that is dope. Good job, yeah. Aztec. You did it. You yeah. beat that uh, class in its stupid face. Yeah, Rira is saying everything's going to be okay. Chainsaw Man finally came out, and I'm going to Animated Brascon with my, uh, uh, this weekend with my friends. Oh, that's oh that's yeah, awesome. girl, give me the bingle bangle. Oh, God, I'm getting bingle bangled. Why? <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, Pingle Pingle from Line Everyone, Karen Voice. Hello, manager. I'd like a restart on the Sweat Time Robot. I have my receipt for it, too. Oh, uh, apparently, uh, we swore. Fine. Fine. Uh, you know what, Karen? I am the manager. <laughs> I am the manager. Um, that was weird. <laughs> Claws are pretty something positive. I had a sprite today. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but that, that's just the, I think I think it was par partially the oh, words and partially the, the delivery horse. there. Uh, party <laughs> quick, quick! We need we need to cheer Wazzy up. Quick, think of something positive. Uh, uh, I hate a sprite. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Drew, I love you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're saying something positive. Well, you get to spread positivity to the world by reading more vending machine novel. I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Just one saying, I am the one who manages. Uh, this is all great. Oh, Sarah, let's sing. I love the Chainsaw Man opening theme. Oh, it's great. Oh, also, wonderful. the episode that just came out today, the ending theme is very good. Mwah. Chef's kiss. The episode today is very good. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. It's a very good episode. Man, I like yes. Chainsaw Man. I just want to talk about Chainsaw Man for a while. Chainsaw Man's great. I love Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man's very good. Do be chainsaw. <laughs> chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. There we go. There is um, Froggy and Banani. As um in the new Pokemon game coming out next month. Also, fuck, I should mention it right now. I know I just swore. I don't care. Um, but God, why? Okay, listen. Next month, we are doing a month long subathon kind of thing. Um, and at near the end of the month, we're gonna do a Pokemon Nuzlocke of the new game. So basically what happens is every time somebody donates 500 bits or a gift sub or $5, um, the time is extended for the Nuzlocke. Um, and that's, and, and that's the cool thing that's going to happen next month. Hopefully, uh, I just got to finish the things and then I will tell you more details, but basically, um, fun things are going to happen with it. It's going to be great. Anyway. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be, stay tuned for more details. Yeah. Keep yeah. Keep an basically, eye out. Also, basically, I'm going to put my embarrassment and stuff up for, for grabs. Don't worry. It'll be fun. Yeah. Also, uh, Electrify put in a stretch and a hydrate. Oh, so dang, I'm going to okay. actually stand up and stretch. Ow. Oh, my God. My shoulder just popped directly in my ear. <laughs> I don't like yeah, that. My knee's been bugging me lately, so I should stand up. You should. And do a little shake. A shake I'm going to do shake, long shake, Furby shake. because you know what? We're cursed enough already. Yeah. So let's say it's okay if I tell crew about the monkey bull thing. Oh, yeah, yeah the yeah. monkey mash. That's on the 29th. Ninth. That's the Sunday to Monday, so it's the 20, It's the 30th to 31st, I think. But yeah. Uh, our very good friend, who is also a bowl of soup, Itsy Boy Top Ramen, and his crew, Monkey Mole, are doing a 24-hour stream. 
Yeah. So support and people them. should watch it. I think they're playing some horror games and stuff, too. I don't know. Yeah, they don't know. To find out more, go to the Monkey Mole Discord server, which I don't have yeah. a link to. <laughs> if you want to know more, ask them about it. If you want to know more, ask them. Oh, man. They know it be- way better than I do. I mean, I'm just a guy. <laughs> I'm just here. I don't know what you yeah. want from me. Yeah, Rio's saying we love you too. I'm going to work, so don't have any more bad mental breakdowns or bad dreams tonight. You fucking fuck you! Can't tell me what to do. I'm a cool guy. See what? We're still on swear timer. We'd get through it if you'd stop narking. It wasn't me who narked. There's two people, three people in chat who have narked on you. You're narking, and also, I. You just went fucking fuck fuck you like. You're narking though. And I really, like, I can get away with not swear. Can you? Yeah. Okay, okay. Pro- I mean, I, I probably can. Okay, okay. I can do the thing. Can you do the thing? Let's, I let's work together. I created the thing. We, mm, what? We can do it together. We can, we can make this work. Mm, okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You gotta reset Matt Swore. Ah, uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> I did. Yep. Well, I did. I did right at the start, I suppose. But like, there we we're go. like five seconds in. There we go. There we go. We did it. <laughs> Just ten minutes. We could do it, Matt. Matt, pull yourself together. You could do it. Yeah, we can do it. You could do it. We. You could do it. You could stop swearing, Matt. Stop busting my jam. Yeah, and uh, Roy's saying, you guys don't got this. I don't believe in you. You know what? Just out of spite. You just want me to do this out of spite. Yeah, like, yeah, we're going to, yeah, we're going to spite this, like, super hard. Also, uh, just the two of us starts playing while Matt is giving his inspirational speech. (laughs) We can make it if we try, just the two of us. Can, Can we? Can we, though? I mean, yeah, I believe. True, you're trapped in a burning building. You have the chance to jump out the window. Or you can dig underneath the house to get to safety in the warm, warm dirt. Which do you do? Um... That's tough. Yeah. Uh, Ice is Jane saying jump. <laughs> okay. Our trailblazer says jump. Cosmer says I simply walk. <laughs> Just walks out uh, the door. <laughs> Phoenix saying jump. I would probably also jump solely due to the fact that I'm big and it's easier for me to jump out a window than it is for me to dig it, dig a hole that's a sufficient size for me. Oh, good. Then you're smarter than rabbits. Good job, everybody. This is why rabbits suck. Yes, this is anti-rabbit propaganda. Hello, rabbits. I know you're listening to me out there. Listen, my (laughs) beef with you isn't done, idiots. I'm proving to everyone how much idiots you are. Uh, Brony's saying, as a little guy, I'd be a dwarf and dig. Uh, (laughs) Lava said, uh, jump and roll. Jump, no person can dig that fast. Exactly. Exactly, rabbits. This is this was an anti rabbit propaganda. <laughs> Wait, what's this? I'm still questioning why the house is on fire. Um the rabbits. The rabbits set the house on fire. Okay, you're in a house with a bunch of rabbits, and the rabbits set the house on fire. Do you yeah. A call the authorities? B leave the house. C, leave the house but save the rabbits. Or D, sit down and wonder how you got yourself into this situation. I would sit down and be like, I, I would sit down and do the record, entire record scratch thing. Just like, just like <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> yeah, that, I'd just do that. 
Uh, Red said, "Can okay, uh, let's see. What is that? Which would you uh, pick to get to an Isekai world? Jump off a building, get hit by a truck, lightning, or big dimensional boom, destroyed your home with you in it? Ooh. Uh, lightning, lightning, absolutely lightning. No, big dimensional boom. Yeah, I want people to know I got isekai I want dudes in the next town over to be like, yo, somebody getting isekai up over there. Like, that's what I want. Yeah. I want people to know I'm getting it. Listen, if I got to be isekai I want people to know I'm getting isekai I don't want, I don't want everybody to be like, wow, I wonder what happened to Wazzy. No, I want somebody to be like, yo, you hear Wazzy got isekai last week? That's freaking wild. I wonder what kind Wazzy. of world she wound up in. Well, see, I'm going to blow your mind, and you're going to be... I feel like you're going to be mad at me. I don't know if you've had this conversation before, but I just thought of this. Hmm. Uh, do you remember Reboot? Yeah, I remember Reboot. I love Reboot. And and remember in Reboot where uh, Enzo and Andrea, they end up in a game they're about to lose, and then they go with the game. Yeah, and then they grow up and become Andrea and Matrix, and, and they're really yeah. hot in my bisexual awakening. Yeah, 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 I remember. And how they died and revived in another world. They didn't die. They, they, didn't they didn't die. die. They didn't die, Matthew. They changed their coding so that they were same coding as the game. So when the game left, when the game ended, they got transported with the game. Therefore, they were not isekai They were just, they changed, they changed their status and is so that they were the same coding as the game because Andrea was originally the same coding as a game. That's how her and Enzo met. They met in a game and she was coded by the game and they recoded her so that she was part of the computer so when the game left she stayed and then when they got stuck in a game they changed their coding so that they were part of the game so when the game left they left with the game because they were part of the game and then they jumped from game to game trying to get back so it was an intentional isekai oh my god I'm gonna fight you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I love you. I just need you to rem remember I love you very much and I cherish you. <sighs> and you're my favorite person in the world. Mm -hmm. Uh mm -hmm. but but I definitely had to bring that up because I knew that would be bring up an amazing uh, little conversation. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Electro was saying, "Well, you have some team Electro moment." He said, "Game win." Too many times in that sentence. No, listen. No, listen. Trust me. Listen. If anybody, if anybody knows anything about me, it's that I love reboot and I'm very good at yelling about reboot. <laughs> actually I'm not actually I don't actually remember the plot of reboot too much especially after after the whole they get back and they beat um and they beat um Megabyte, Megabyte? yeah I completely can't remember anything after they beat Megabyte uh that's where Damon came in yeah I know Damon comes there, in there's the two movies there's Damon Rising and then there's My Two Bobs yeah yeah I didn't I don't remember <laughs> I do. Anyway, here's Long Furby that would eat your soul. Yeah. Wait, I didn't do Although, it right. Uh, Nocturne Blade also says Long Furby reminds me of Hootie. <laughs> Hoot! <laughs> hey, guys! Hoot! <laughs> oh, man. There we go. There's Long Furby for you. We'll make yeah. him a sticker. For your guys' sake, we'll make him a sticker. <laughs> uh, Who wants to talk to Furby? Hoot! <laughs> Uh, uh, I've got time well, for one more uh, art request. Yeah. Uh, Ray saying, I'm surprised you never swore during that whole rant. Um, Ankart saying, another question, what kind of isekai would you rather go to? One, regular isekai. Two, vending machine. Three, Kirby. Kirby? Well, it depends. I Kirby? guess Kirby, because, like, if I wind up in a Kirby universe, I guess, um... Like, it wouldn't be that bad. Right? Because, like, I would just be a little Waddle Dee guy. Like, right? Like, right? Uh, I mean, theoretically, yeah. It wouldn't be that bad. You, you'd just be a little guy. Also, uh, Miles saying intentional isekai, that's just digital suicide, which gives me an idea. Uh, also, what did you think about the reboot reboot? 
man, the reboot reboot sucked. They should do a reboot of the reboot reboot. Yeah. Well, no, they need to re reboot reboot. Yeah. Because the reboot reboot sucked. Yeah. And the 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 uh ep- the epilogue series comic of reboot was apparently pretty good. What they need to do is re reboot reboot. They, they they do not need to reboot the reboot reboot because the reboot reboot sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Have Long Creek Furby use the Nosferatu theme? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. Uh... Re- re- reboot, reboot, starring Chris Pratt? No! no! Roy! No! no! Get out! Get out! Crew, Get out! Crew, crew, I have a very serious question for you. One person in your life is now replaced by Chris Pratt. Who are they? You got to pick one person that you can't like you you see at least once a week. One person you see once a week is now replaced by Chris Pratt. Who do you choose? Um I would say the cashier at my local grocery store. Mm. Cuz I do go grocery shopping at least weekly. Mhm. That's fair. So there. So I only have to deal with him in a he has to be professional standpoint. Mm. Okay, that's fair. I know it's... Uh, kind of Jacob saying this botch named Brady in my class. Botch is not a swear. Botch <laughs> is botching something. Also, I swear timer's up. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Taking that off. Uh, man, Kurt saying was in the movie played by Chris Prey. I don't know who Chris Prey is. <laughs> I hope he's better than Chris Pratt. Yeah, yeah also calls Bruno saying Chris Pratt voice. Hey, Coopers, today we're reading Vending Machine Prawn. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Great. Would Chris Pratt playing was have a Brooklyn accent? No, it would have a Canadian accent. So objectively, uh, like a worse Chris Are Pratt voice. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? If Chris Pratt plays me, he's not going to change his voice. Do you think for a second Chris Pratt is going to change his voice if he's voicing me? No, of course he's not. It's just going to be like, hey guys, it's me, Chris Pratt. I hope you're ready to read Reborn as a Vending Machine. And now I wander the dungeon. All right, let me uh, let me read for you guys today. M. This is scary. <laughs> Chris Pratt reading this would be Chris, so excruciating. Chris Pratt. What what up? It's me, Chris Pratt. Uh um. Let me let me see here. Chris Pratt. Um Hold on, I'm trying to find a spicy part. Alright. Chris Pratt says. Her top resembles one of them bulletproof vests police officers wear at dangerous scenes. Actually, it must be leather armor. She has shoulder pads and is equipped with sturdy-looking gloves, too. This is an str- outfit straight out of a fantasy book. After giving her a once-over, I bought a small bag fastened to her belt. The kind valuables... Or money is stored in. That would be Chris this... Pratt reading that. Enjoy that, everybody. Hope you fucking enjoy that. Don't worry. I don't. I don't think it. I. I don't think anyone might have. Oh, so we're saying he'll say it's me, Wazzy. A. Eh? How's it going, a boot? How's it going, a boot? A. Eh? Time to read some vending machines. A. Eh? Guy. <laughs> Sorry, let us get asking. The, the real questions. If Matt and Wazzy made a couple's costume, who would be Eggman and who'd be the super laser piss? Oh, I would be Eggman. Matt's, I, I ta- de- Matt's taller than me. So therefore he would have to be the super laser piss. Would that be like the entire space station shooting the super laser piss? No. Or just the laser piss just itself. Just the laser piss. Just the laser piss. It would be oh, okay, easy. Okay. We get like I just one of those clarify. wacky, waving, inflatable tube flailing guys. 
Um, and we just and I would just be that. It would have to be like yellow. It yeah. would have to be yellow if it's if it's super laser piss. Yeah, and and you just do that because you're taller than me, and like so the piss would have to go further. Yeah, like significantly further. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. I can live with that. Um, let's see. Your Chris Pratt has half half speech. Uh. Magart, last easy like, question. What would you most likely be reborn as? Eight, one, vending machine. Two, slime. Three, spider. So what? Four, cloud. Five, human. Six, gooman. Or seven, frog. I don't know what this gooman is, but I am interested. <laughs> yeah. Explain gooman. I would like... Is that... Yeah, tell me what a gooman is, and then I'll make my... And then I'll make my call. Yeah. Plus, what he said, or eight, Chris Pratt. I'd rather be Chris Pratt, because then maybe I could fix things. <laughs> Reborn as Chris Pratt, and now I gotta fix the Mario movie. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. There's an Easter guy for everybody to look forward to. Reborn as Chris Pratt, and now I gotta fix the Mario movie. I would not read that manga. <laughs> Are you sure? Pretty sure. Are you sure? It's Chris Pratt, and he's got to fix the Mario movie. It's like that time that that guy got reincarnated as Yamcha and then fixed Yamcha's life. It's exactly that. It's it's I... just, it's just exactly that. It's just being reborn as Chris Pratt and then fixing Chris Pratt's life. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. See? That. Uh, yeah, it's not the worst. It's definitely not the worst. Sarah is asking, would Wazoo like the manga about the dad who became the most popular VTuber? Oh, God. Is that... Why am I asking? Is that real? I know it's real. My little sh it's... shitty Yu-Gi-Oh! Heart of the Cards, I know it's real. Yeah, it's absolutely real. Oh, God. There's no escape in that. Oh, uh, man. Imagine Mario is reborn as Chris Pratt. Just like a little short round guy, uh, Chris Pratt. Just cartoon Pratt. I'm Mamma Mia. That time I was reincarnated as a Chris Pratt. I'm Mamma Mia. I'm Mamma Mia. <laughs> Don't party horn me. This isn't a Mamma Mia party horny time. I'm Mamma yeah. Mia. Neither party me nor horn me. <laughs> don't you horny me yeah do, or party me I swear to god if you party me I am a very tired lad I do not have the energy to be partied oh yeah you're gonna get partied so hard we don't like to party we don't we don't like to party <laughs> we don't like actually I'm okay with partying it depends on what the party is and what time I can acceptably go home <laughs> All right, here he is, Doctor Poblano. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the vending machine needs to say hello, kid. <laughs> <laughs> hello, kid. And I can... Nice boob you got going on there. <laughs> nice titties you got on got going on there, kid. Hey, hey, kid. Nice titties you got going on there. <laughs> You uh, buy Coca Cola often? <laughs> Want to see how hard I can piss? <laughs> Want to see how hard I can shoot to vent? You want? <laughs> yeah, there we go. You want to see how hard I can vent? I can vent so hard. Trust me. Uh. Yeah, mile. <laughs> Um, I, hey Bowser, can you use a guy me, please? I need to beat the shit out of this Chris Pratt. <laughs> hey Bowser, we need to get the isekai'd. <laughs> uh, yeah, Canon height confirmed. If I cross the relative distance at the laser, the distance of the laser pits to the pixel measurements of the spacecraft, I'll be able to retrofit that to feasible proportions for the costumes. Oh God, that seems like a lot of work. Uh, man card, hey kid, nice boobies you have there, and you're really good at touching, wink, wink. <laughs> you really know how to press my buttons, eh? That's it. That's the that's the book. 
Unfortunately, that's the book. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's it. Coming to you live next week. I don't know what day. <laughs> A day, unfortunately. One of those days. I don't know which days you guys like me to do what on what days. Um, I might actually uh, take tomorrow off, actually. Um, but I'll probably be back Thursday. Oh, you do it Thursday instead of a Wednesday? On Wednesday, yeah, because Thursday the video comes out, so I think it might be neat to kind of do a Thursday. Um, That's not a bad idea. I just can't, yeah. I just think, I think it'll be a good idea. Uh, I mean, that, and that also funnily coincides with the fact that I am moving my usual Thursday night stream to Friday night uh, this week. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I got to make sure yeah, none of my friends are streaming. Oh, but if I stream early in the day, nobody's going to be streaming. Yeah, I think Raku streams on Thursday. Yeah, but I think he's, like, he's later in the day, I think. Yeah, he's afternoon. Okay. Then, yeah, I should be fine. I'll double check. Yeah, if you, if you stream, like, right around when the video comes out, like, you'll be fine. Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out, crew. Yeah, you'll get figured out. Either way. People will be notified. Save the line, vending machine, Jack. Man, you're really pushing my buttons. I love this guy. <laughs> you're really pushing my buttons. Ah, this guy's great. Listen, Crunchyroll, if you're out there and you hear me, listen. Hi, Crunchyroll. It's me, Wazzy Toxic here. Let me be the voice to your vending machine anime. What have you got to lose? What do you got to lose of me being the voice of your vending machine anime protagonist? I've got uh, a pretty I've got a pretty regular voice. I can do a lower pitch if you want. Like I can I can sound like a teenage boy. I can sell like I... a teenage boy seeing boobies for the first time. Whoa, dude! Whoa. That Whoa, girl's bazongas. got huge bazongers. Wow, that's incredible! Hey, bazongers on a child. <laughs> wow. See, and you say what? Do you, uh, what do they have to lose? About one hundred fifty dollars. That's about as much as they'll pay you. Exactly. Um... Listen, Frenchy roll. Get Dylan! Uh, the boy's saying Crunch will hire Wazzy and give her a livable salary. Yeah, that second part probably won't happen. I'm sorry. Yeah, that second part would never happen for any voice actor ever. <laughs> uh, well, for the ones who are properly unionized, and if it's forced to be a union job, but Crunch is trying to find their way around that because that's what they do. That's true. Because capitalism. Capitalism. Oh, boy. All right, everybody. We're going to go through the art. We're going to go find a dude to raid. A raidman? A raidman. A senior raidman. Henry Raidman. Henry Raidman. The the truest champion of us all. All right. <laughs> Here is um, Abs Poblano. Dr. Abs Poblano. Um, I forgot his first name was Abs. Yeah, it's Abs Poblano. Um, he's got a Pringles can, but inside is just a dinky. He was uh, he was all excited to get his Prongles after his 19-hour shift saving orphans. And uh, guess what was in his Prongles? It was just a dinky. Just a dinkly do. Just a little dinkly do. Um, next, Long Furby. Have you enjoyed it? No he's comments? so long. No comments. <gasps> he's not. He's, is he not staring into your soul enough? Here, let me fix it. Is he staring in your soul is... better now? No. Uh, uh. Wait. I don't know. I'm like a. I'm like an eight second delay behind you watching the stream. So right, okay, now he is. It. Oh God, the red in his eyes. Okay, let oh. me fix it. Okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're coming in. Okay. 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 How about now? How about now? That's a bit much. Is that good? Is that good, crew? Is that good? Is that good, crew? No. Is that good, crew? Is that good? Hi, crew! It's me, Furby! I'm gonna be a sticker! Hack! All right, enough That's, of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, th I think we're good. I think we're... Um, here is... We've seen. Um, Froggy and Banani as, um... 
Oh, what is it? Belly? Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt and Penny from uh, the new Pokemon game. Yay! Um, Here's your childhood innocence dying. Enjoy that, everybody. Enjoy. It's a me, a Mario. Hey, it's a me, a Chris Mario. Hey, Pratt. it's me, Mario. Um, hey, yeah, it's is, me, Mario. Here's four kids <laughs> chainsaw man. Oh man, CM, you beat me of rock paper scissors. Guess I'm going to the snowball fight. Singular tear. No. <laughs> Um, oh. here is Sora, Donald, and Goofy, uh, sent to the Jenga realm. Yeah, as they do. <laughs> it's like the Shadow Realm, but made of wooden blocks. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like the Shadow Realm, but infinitely worse. Uh, here is, uh, a pizza as a vampire, or a vampire as a pizza. Either way, you figure it out. There's also a secret button there if you look. If you look in the pepperoni, you'll see a butt, but that's a yeah. secret between all of us. Is it's a vampizza. And this is uh, a fucking ghost. A fucking ghost from... Um, Fatal Frame 2. Fatal Frame 2. It's a ghost, everybody. It's a ghosty ghost. It's a ghosty ghost. And uh, here's something I still got to color because uh, I didn't do it on stream, but I will do it after stream and put it in so that I can get things. Um, this is Rain from uh, Blood Rain. Um, so shout out to Dr um, Dare Drop um for not really sponsoring i don't know what they uh are. for for being a cool new program for being that you're a trying cool out. program for being a cool new program that we're trying out you guys can check out blood rain uh i'm gonna try to win us some codes so that i can give you guys free codes for blood rain um i'm gonna play it i'm actually gonna play it this weekend instead of fatal frame and we're gonna save fatal frame for the halloween stream that we're gonna do the how the weekend um so yeah um we're gonna um the bot should come up and and um yeah sour lad did the co-host thank you sour lad um so yes yeah, so that's uh you can click on that and check out blood rain and uh enjoy that and thank you to our um and my new friends thanks uh, God, I forgot her name already. It's probably a doxing her to name her. Thanks. It's okay. Person. Thanks, Dare Drop Chan. <laughs> Thanks, Dare Drop Chan. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to take tomorrow off, but I'll be back Thursday um, yeah. with more art requests. And then I'll be back Friday with work. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. There we go. There's yeah. the Streamlabs coming up with it. Um, I love and appreciate you guys. Matt, tell us something cool as I find somebody for us to raid. Yeah, a uh, couple cool things that are coming up stream-wise, like Waz just gave off her schedule. Uh, as part, like, kind of wrapping around that, because, yeah, Waz will be streaming Friday uh, afternoon doing her work stream. Friday night, uh, for anyone who has been watching my streams, uh, I've been playing through Resident Evil 6 because it's spooky month. Uh, we're actually finally at the point of Resident Evil 6 parts that I, ha that I haven't played, so it's completely blind. Uh, I would definitely say if you want to come and watch Resident Evil 6 on Friday night and and or Saturday morning, uh, I'll be streaming then so people can come and say hi and see some other spoopy games if you want. It'd be super cool to see you guys come and hang out. Yeah. 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 Anyway, Electrify gave us a stretch as we head out. Uh, Dio's live, so we're going to go get Dio. Um, yeah. Other than that, you know... I don't know what to tell you guys other than get fucked. It's it's the usual. And I love you guys. It's you the guys usual. Are, you guys are you guys usual. are cool guys, and we appreciate you. Until and thank time, you for. Until next time, don't forget to kick names and take ass. Yeah, take some butts. Okay. Bye. Bye. Ready. Intermission.